What's going on? What's going on, fam? This is Chris with Food for Your Thoughts. Hope you're having a wonderful day. We're back. Continue our series with Zodiac Health. And today is all about number 11, Aquarius, the new mindset. And the natural birth salt for Aquarius is sodium chloride, one of my favorites, okay? And in, in this series, it's all about, you know, maintaining balanced health by using your own birth chart and numbers, right? And remember, the blood is the life and without perfect blood health is impossible your thoughts belief words emotions and actions always going to equal your reality and your results guys all right so today if you clicked on this video right now you you here for a reason and there are no accidents or you know coincidences you know everything happened in perfect timing right but in this presentation series all about me sharing giving you some additional tools to put in your toolbox. And, you know, with this information, you'll be able to really transform your life, you know, your health, you know, from the, from the inside out, so to speak. But most importantly, make sure you get these books that I'm including down in the description down below. You will greatly, gladly thank me later. And that way you can really follow along. That way you can have stuff, you know, discovery for yourself right and learn things for yourself instead of just relying on these presentations right so get those books invest in yourself you know and that way you can cut out the middleman that's what it's all about let's cut out the middleman take responsibility for ourselves right now but again you know to really get a good working knowledge with this new new material I like to review things at least three times. That way I can get a good working knowledge, a good warm and fuzzy. And, you know, I can actually feel comfortable with the material, right? And, you know, you don't have to just hold on to the material, share the reference. That's that's just as powerful. You know, share the book, share what you learn. And like, hey, you know, you can find this information in this book. So sharing a reference is a powerful way of, you know, empowering each other. And they use it in the military. I don't know why they don't teach this stuff in school, right? you know, who does that? <laughs> so, but today, uh, you know, 11 Aquarius is all about you. And again, you know, get these books, they're going to help you, you know, answer a lot of those questions that you've been wanting to know the answer to about you from that, you know, inside out. So please invest in yourself. Okay. But be sure to click the like and subscribe button down below. I greatly appreciate it. And, you know, at this time, it's all about you know, sharing our lessons with each other and really helping each other level up instead of leaving people stuck on, you know, level three or level two, and you know, you're on the level, level 11, right, Aquarius. So, you know, reach your hand down and pick that person up, teach people how to, you know, help themselves. In other words, you know, don't do the work for them, you know, you can show them one time, that way they can see you in action, but teach people, you know, to really help themselves, you know, instead of them just looking for handouts all the time, okay? So part of my purpose here is to, you know, give you a quick tune up so you can tune back into yourself, your own intuition, your own inner guidance system, right? That own inner voice. And I'm just here to remind you of your own greatness and how great you are. And you're here for a reason and a purpose, all right? So your date of birth actually does mean something, ladies and gentlemen, okay? But by now, we covered a lot of material. We talked about life path, personal year numbers, day, month numbers, right? But if you're new to this channel and you just, you know, learned about this material and you don't really know these numbers yet, after this presentation, go back, you know, I, I have a whole setup for you, you know, walking you through how to calculate your life path numbers, you know, personal year, month, day number, right? And also, I, you know, I'll walk you through the process of you know what things to do and what to expect on certain days you know because things just happen you know the universe has its own you know ebb and flow and what you're doing is your intent is to get in alignment with yourself and with the universe using your your date of birth and your your chart your natal chart all right so it's all about your intent and the universe is going to mirror your intent. So if you really want to change yourself, the universe is going to say, you know, okay, show me. So then that's when you have to take radical action and put in a little work, okay, each and every day. All right, invest in yourself each and every day. All right, but as we move forward, again, um, you know, so far we covered all of, you know, a lot about your outer reality, these different synchronicities, these numbers. Now, you know, we focus more on the inner you, 
the inner part of you, what makes you tick, you know, Aquarius, what, what really makes your heart, you know, beat at so many number of beats, you know, what stuff, you know, works for your body and what doesn't work, what makes me feel the way I feel, ask these deeper questions about yourself, all right, because you, we know so much about the outer world, but we don't really know too much about all these internal, you know, organs that just does its own natural thing without questioning it, right, like, you know, like it just doesn't exist, so it's time to really know thyself, you know, knowledge of self, you know, going through self-discovery, and figuring things out, right, so as you pay attention on the screen here, you know, far left, you know, biochemistry equals life chemistry, so disease is a deficiency in some of the chemical constituents that carry on the chemical of life, the chemistry of life, and that an entity so it's all about treating the root cause and not the symptom you know george Carey. so what's more expensive you know is it investing in like books or information or audio that can really help you prevent illnesses or diseases or is it like a, a hospital bill or you know looking for the expert in your life you know these so-called subject matter expert and the, the downside is you know every time an issue comes up you have to go back to them all the time but you are with yourself 24 hours a day. These people only know you for a few minutes when you decide to go see them or consult them for your for some help. So it's time to really take responsibility for ourselves, start doing our own research, right? And figuring things out for ourselves. So, but it's all about treating the entire person, not just these symptoms, okay, guys? So when it comes to you, you know, number 11, Aquarius, your keynote signature is A-sharp. And the time period for you is right around January 21st all the way through February 19th okay and then your natural cell salt is sodium chloride and what that does is regulates the water supply throughout your body and on an emotional level you know you know as an Aquarius you're very highly intuitive and you can read between the lines you, you can put aside yourself you know for the needs of others that's what makes you so special and, you know, you do play a lot of mental games because you, you love making people think outside the box because, you know, with that number 11 vibration, you're on a whole nother level when it comes to your mindset and thinking, knowing and being and doing, right? But the, that on the lower nature with the 11 vibration, one plus one equals two, it can be just a little emotional, okay? So just remember, you know, you know, keep your emotions, stay balanced and keep, yeah, keep your emotions in check, all right? So, on the physical aspect, you know, that deal, it deals with the immune system. You got the adrenal issues with, you know, allergies related. And then you got body detoxification, oxygen, you know, regulation as well when in line with Aquarius. Okay. So blood is the elixir of life, you know, and blood is to the human body what soil is to the plant. It is common knowledge that poor exhausted soil will produce only weak, sickly plants. Now, in the same way, poor blood lacking in the essential constituents will produce weak, sickly bodies prone to disease. Now, by enriching the soil, the ill-conditioned plant can be made to recover and flourish, right? We, we do this all the time without questioning sometimes. <laughs> now, the recovery of the ill and human body can best be achieved by a similar process. But how are we going to do that? By restoring to the blood the constituents in which it is lacking. This is simple biochemistry, the chemistry of living tissues. So let's talk a little bit more about sodium chloride, one of my favorites, okay? And you'll see why in just a second. Now, when it comes to sodium chloride, guys, let me find my point. So when it comes to sodium chloride, although it is one of the most powerful cell salt and often acts with remarkable speed in case of ser serious illness, sodium chloride or natural myrrh is probably best known as a preeminent remedy for headaches and that's why i say it's one of my favorite because i used to you know have you know quite a few headaches before switching my diet around right but sodium chloride is you know present in high concentration in the body fluids and its chief task is to you know the creation and stabilization of osmotic you know pressure regulating and passage of the fluids now the process of osmosis is crucial within the body since without it the cells would be would be unable to receive the nutrients they you know require nor would they be able to conduct many biochemical processes you know necessitating 
the exchange of fluid, right? Now, as a critical factor of promoting osmosis, sodium chloride is an important cell salt remedy. Now, this cell salt effectiveness is relative, you know, relieving headaches is widely discussed in homeopathic studies. Now, the primary cause of headaches, you know, pretty much stems from changing in blood flow. Now, homeopathic practitioners theorize that sodium chloride works to stabilize the blood flow, you know, that's in the brain or to the going to the brain, there, thereby, you know, reducing the severity of headaches and often pretty much eliminating them entirely. You know, and now, finally, now, since it regulates the passage of fluids, you know, through the cell, sodium chloride can also be effective in reducing hypertension, which is like high blood pressure. So please take note of that, guys. Now, as we close here, you know, when it comes to, to the far right, you know, this is simple biochemistry was life chemistry, the chemistry of life. Now, be sure to learn and use those seven hermetic principles daily. I promise you, you will gladly thank me later. And it will take the fear, you know, out of everything, which is that false evidence appearing real. And then you will actually be able to face everything and rise. You reverse that, that polarity, right? But 11 Aquarius, you know, you all about that new mindset. That's why you like to play mind games and bring in that new awareness and new ideas. You're a very intuitive thinker, but use your you know, always use your power for, you know, good, you know, when I say good, you know, good is subject, you know, based on like, you know, where the person is, but always lift people up, don't tear them down, in other words, you know, and, and you know, share information that can really help people, because remember, nobody escapes the law, we always in this cause and effect here, those seven hermetic principles, right, so let's do this dance together and give, and let's empower each other and help each other level up, you know, natural, organically, you know, and just love on each other, right? But your natural so, um, cell salt, again, sodium chloride, and 80% of the time, these uh, cell salts are the first cell salt to become deficient in symptoms of illnesses and diseases for your son. And some common uses, again, it helps with headaches, ankle, blood flow, water distribution, high blood pressure, right? And a common deficiency sign, decrease in water circulation and distribution, and also headaches, okay? But every 30 days, your body creates new cell based on the nutrients that you put in it, all right? You are responsible for putting in the stuff in your body each and every day without questioning. So if you really want to change the input, you know, you got to change, you got to change the input for a better output. All right. If you really want to see some change in your life, you know, Aquarius, you know, everything has a root cause from your health, your finances, your relationships. I mean, everything has a root cause. So when you go back to the root cause, you can really see change manifest in your life. So when it comes to your health, let's treat the entire body instead of the symptom. Now, some common dosages, you know, I love these number three, six, nine, use these numbers, start less is more. So start with three twice a day or as needed, right? It's you, it's your life. And, you know, at the end of the day, you cannot overdose on these cell salt. Your body would naturally take in the resource that it needs, and it would naturally excrete or push out the stuff that it doesn't need. And investigate. Trust the process. Give your body 90 days to do its thing naturally, okay, guys? Just trust the process, you know? And at the end of the day, get those books. Get those books, you know, and investigate. It's all about doing your own research. But be sure to click the like and subscribe button down below. I appreciate you guys so much, okay? And we will be back with the next piece of the puzzle. We'll be wrapping things up pretty up pretty soon with Pisces. And then we'll talk about the final um, chapter, which is, you know, wrap things up with, with the completion of number 13, okay? And the fin which is the finished product, all right? And uh, so, but again, guys, this is Chris with Food for Your Thoughts. Until next time, stay grateful and focused, fam. Peace.